Welcome back to Brainless Sports Talk. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about should the NWSL soccer have a meet and greet for fans. I think that the NWSL should definitely have a meet and greet for their soccer fans to obviously support the team when on the road and also on home games. They should have a meet and greet so that the fans can get to meet the players, the soccer players, and get to have their photographs, their autographs, and maybe even obviously get to know them as a person a little bit and obviously see what makes them who they are on the soccer field. I think that it is a wonderful idea for NWSL soccer players to get to know their fans because without their fans, they would not be in the spots that they are. Well, they would be in the spots, but they wouldn't have the support that they have without their fans. So it's a little ways to give back to obviously the fans that have meant a lot to the particular soccer clubs. For example, a great meet and greet would be having meeting your favorite players such as North Carolina Courage's Casey Murphy, Kaylee Kurtz, Kate, Kate Bowell, Amanda Rodriguez, going to OL region to see Queen, Rosa LaVey, Megan Rapino, going to Orlando Prime to see Leah Pierre, Carly Courtney, Courtney Patterson, going to Gotham FC to see Gina Lewandowski, Jennifer Coden, S Sabrina Floyd, and even Ali Long. You could go to Kansas City Courage Current and see Ali Ali Long, Adrian F Finch. Lynch Williams, or even Sam Mew. You could go to San Diego Waves to get to meet Alex Morgan, who is obviously representing not just the NWSL, but also U.S. Women's National, and you could get her autograph and see photos of her. Kristen Mew, Abby, Abby Dunk, Dunkler, who also represents the U.S. National Team. You could go to Racing Louisville to see Addison Mercer, Jessica McDonalds, who played for The Courage. You could go to the Houston Dash, and you can get to meet Rachel DeLay and Jane Campbell, who both of them have represented their countries on the national level. You can go to Angel City SC to get to meet Julie Easton, Kristen Press. You could go to the Racing, the Racing Louisville, obviously, but also you could go to the Chicago Red Sox, Red Stars. I'm sorry, to get to meet Paige, pa Morgan Page, Ra Rachel Hill, and Kaylee Watch. Obviously, when you go to those teams to get to meet those players on different teams like North Carolina Courage, Racing Louisville, Chicago Red Stars, even the San Diego Waves to get to meet Alex Morgan, it would be a great honor to get to meet those players and get to have photos with them, share in that moment that maybe they might have won the game, maybe they might have lost but they took a tough loss, or even just share in that moment and get to meet your your favorite players because not always do you get to meet those players and not all the time do you get to see those players that let's say you grew up watching on TV like Casey Murphy, Alex Morgan, Megan Rapino. not all the time do you get to obviously get to see the players actually play and get to have a meet and greet where you can take photos with them, get their autographs, maybe ask them one or two questions about how do they get to where they are. Because I know that obviously if I got to meet Alex Morgan, I would definitely like to ask her 
how did she get to where she is? How did she make the U.S. Women's National Team? But also get get a photo with her and her autograph because that will always go down forever and ever and ever that you can meet those players like Casey Murphy, Kaylee Kurtz, Addison Mercer, Gina Lewandowski, and even Alex Morgan because a picture is a thousand words and if you have a picture with obviously Alex Morgan or Gina Lewandowski or even Casey Murphy or Kaylee Kurtz then you can show your friends that picture, you can show your family that picture, and also that picture will be be down in history of getting to meet your favorite player if those are your favorite players. And for that, I think that it is a wonderful idea for the NWSL to keep doing meet and greets so that future fans and even fans that are old can still meet their players that they looked up to or even watched on TV or even at the games. Thank you for listening to Brandon Sports Talk on Should the NWSL Soccer Have Meet and Greets with NWSL Soccer Players. See you in the next episode. Bye!